Welcome everyone to the MPT Motor Week Carnival. We invite you to stroll around the beautiful grounds of Lily Pond's Water Garden. As you stroll the field to show cars, you're likely to run into John Davis, host and creator of Motor Week, the longest running automotive series on television. Be sure to cast your votes for your favorite cars. I'm a gearhead. I've had a, a muscle car since I was 16. It is a lifestyle. I hit as many car shows as I can with my cars. It's a freedom to put the top down and just cruise and crank the gears. I love it. It's in my blood. Last weekend, we took this to Helena, Georgia for the Southern Drive. So we had 74 of these 356s. It was a hoot. The people, it's about the people. You know, the cars, I think, are the opportunity for us to talk together. Everybody comes and they're just really wonderful to talk to. It's great. Got a carbon fiber splitter, high box suspension. The engine was made by the Bristol Aircraft Company. The car itself was made by the AC Company. It's good to see all the various designs. People have had thousands of ideas about how to design a car, and it's wonderful to see them preserved and on display. It takes me back to the time of my childhood, too. So. I like that car because it looks like it has turbo boosters. I like that one because its front is completely straight and it looks like it can bash through walls. And I like that one because it has four doors. Last year of high school, everybody wants to have one of these. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Despite the fact that Corvettes go back to the 50s, this is only the seventh redesign of this car. So they call this the C7. And it also brings back the legendary Stingray name from the 60s. What I like about this type of car show is it is about every kind of car. From the little cars to the big cars, the expensive cars to the not so expensive cars. You'll find everyday drivers in here. You'll find specialty cars. They call trailer queens. They only come out on a trailer, come to the show, get shown, go home, and get lovingly placed back into their garages. We had a number of people stop by, taking pictures all over the place. And I was explaining, this is original, like the glass and all the metal and the back seat and so on and so forth. And the more we spoke, more people started coming over and bringing their children and loving Camaros and loving the fact that it's still original. And actually, I'm the original owner, which is quite odd. I am just so thrilled to win. What a great award. It's going to go home with my, my granddaughters to their house, and they're going to enjoy it. And I'm going to enjoy seeing them enjoy the award. We've had a lot of people come up all day long, and uh, everybody's been interested in the car. And I just, it was my day, I guess, lucky day. Oh, the car is my, my baby. Yeah, it's, it's a great cruising car. You get in it, it makes you feel young again. It was a very difficult year in 2011. My dad was actually passing, and it was got to a point in my life where things got a little bit frustrating and what have you, and I decided to really just uh, splurge and really take advantage of something which is really my dream car. My dad gave me a great challenge of really bonding with my brother, so we had a great trip out to Minneapolis. We bought this car, we brought it back, across the United States and we're great friends and brothers ever since. These were quite the car back in the day. It was only rock stars and professional sports people could afford them like Michael Jordan and people like that. So you see these today, there's not that many of them around anymore, but you need to experience to see one of them. I've seen very few Vipers on the road in the last three years. I had a 2002, and even when I had that one, I didn't see many. It has 600 horsepower, which is one of the highest production-made automobile. They have all the power you want and need at any time. And I really enjoy driving them. They're a lot of fun. I like how it runs, which is awesome. You're low to the ground, which makes it go faster. I like the gate shift in it, the way it shifts, and just the body style. It's a nasty-looking body style. It's neat. When I say nasty, it's neat. It has 600 horsepower to the rear wheels. It's a 406 stroker motor, a 351 base poured out to 406 cubes with a pro charger, supercharger. It's about as unique as I am. There's not another one on the east coast of the United States like this particular Lincoln Town Car that I know of. And it's a daily driver when I feel like driving it. I've been collecting uh, Corvettes and GR1s for a while now. My wife and I drove to Alaska and back, 10,000 mile trip, visited 19 states and provinces, 
crossed the Canadian-U.S. border 10 times. We're still married and better friends than ever, believe me. <laughs> My husband is six, six foot three, good size, built like a linebacker. And yes, he and I both fit in the Isetta together. The hauler was something that he's wanted for a long, long time. He called me one day from a business meeting. He said, I'm not flying home, I'm driving home. I found something I want. 18 hours later, he drives into the driveway with almost what you see here. It's a heavy car, weighs uh, 3,875 pounds, but you get it up and get it cruising, it's a good cruiser. Like you're floating on the air.